Okay, so we've got this 6.8 board from a tip shop for about $20. Um, it's pretty, it's uh, pretty rough and ready. It's, um, it's obviously got, you know, it's a bit dirty. Um, but it's a good board. It's nice and wide. It's 6.8, so it's quite a popular board. Uh, however, when we turn it over, the reason it was only $20 was because... As you can see, it's um, it's had some water damage just here, and uh, water's got in, and it it's been left that way for a long time, and then what's happened is the water has damaged the foam, so right right along here. Um, so as you can see, it's really rough, and the the foam's no good. So it's pretty much left for dead the board, but. In seeing it, um, we're going to have a crack. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to try to restore it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut all the fiberglass off, um, off here, off the off the damage, and we're going to try to just keep it on this side of the stringer. Cut all this fiberglass off, and then we're going to obviously sand away the bad foam, and then we're going to uh, fill it, um, and then re-fiberglass it and then what we're going to do is we're going to leave this side of the board the way it is and we're probably going to paint this side so uh anyway that's the goal see if we can store this board get it clean it up and uh, get it into a really good functioning um good looking board again uh like i said the dimensions are really good on it uh, and the other thing is, um, well, the first thing we need to do is give it a really good clean. So we're going to leave it out in the sun. I'm going to get all this wax off it. Look at that. It's come straight off. Beautiful. Hot sun just melts it all. Okay, so I've just uh, used a texter to mark out uh, the area that we're going to cut that all the fiberglass off. We're going to use the Dremel cutter um, and uh, that should get the fiberglass off pretty quickly. ready for the filler uh, pretty much everywhere and everywhere's pretty good just using polyester resin mixed with Q-cell foam for filler and we're going to put a little bit of a uh, blue tint in it and um, and obviously the hardener as well So this is about the perfect texture. It's like, um, it's a little bit like uh, sort of a, a thick, it's like a peanut buttery kind of uh, texture. It's what I find anyway, so. Okay, so the morning after, um, we've put the <clears throat> filler on the <clears throat> on the um, on the board here, <clears throat> but unfortunately, 
we didn't quite use enough there was actually um, more required than I expected so um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to give this a sand down with probably 240 grit just a light sand and then uh, we're gonna have to mix some more filler <laughs> Okay, so the filler's come up nice. It's nice and hard and firm. Uh, so today we're going to use 40 grit uh, sandpaper and we're going to um, sand it down level, get it nice and smooth with the board and then, uh, and then fiberglass it. Okay. I've just gone back with the uh, the filler and I've actually just touched up a couple of the low spots. Uh, I just want to make it really smooth. Um, I'm going to give it a sand um, when that sets, but uh, I just felt before I put the fiberglass on, I, um, there was just a couple of little low spots, so just a bit of a touch up. So we're just cutting one six ounce thickness of fiberglass to go over our uh, repair. There's multiple cracks on the back there. Is there? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, there's a few scratches on this one. Sure it's all wet. Everything's all wet. I'll just get the edges here because uh, it comes out. Okay, so we're just going to use the 120 grit for the uh, the repair, and then we're going to use the uh, 240 grit uh, on the. Uh, the remaining part of the board here because uh, just for pre-paint so the paint will grip the board better and then we'll put the other tape. So that'll... Okay, so I'm just trying to cover these fin boxes with, uh, with tape. Um, now, in order to keep it neat, um, I'm trying to get, you know, the, uh, the rounded edge there, and unfortunately it's not that easy to do. Um, so I'm just putting these, um, these little round, uh, these little rounded stickers on the end. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be better than nothing. And then I'll just do the straight tape across there. Now, there might be a better way of doing it, but um, uh, that's this is as good as I know. For example, I'm going to put that one there as best as we can. Okay, the board's ready for paint. We're going to. Uh, it's all taped up. We've done the um, thin boxes here, stringer tape, and uh, around the side as well. 
Um, so we're just going to use the Admiralty Blue along here. The uh, Norglass Weatherfast Premium Enamel, ultra high gloss modified polyurethane. Uh, it's very durable. It's used on boats and um, I like to use it on surfboards as well because it's uh, designed for the water. Okay, so the main thing is when you do it, 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 um, it slides a little bit. It's actually pretty good on here. Um, but then as it dries, you can go back and do a second coat and it sticks a bit better. Mainly on the sides, on the edges. I'll get one coat on and then as it dries I'll go again and it, it should stick better the second time as the paint sort of partially dries. Okay, so this is the last coat. This time it should um, be, yeah, be fairly quick and uh, this should really stick. You're going to have to try to get into that little gap somehow. You can, yeah, that's it. And then smooth, yep, that's it. Nice, good. So it's just dried a little bit, so it's sticking a bit better now. Just do the whole lot that way, long ways, and then maybe, maybe you don't even need to do it sideways, but you just want it to be as clean as possible. That's it, good. That's good. See how much better it is on that that last coat. Okay, here we are with our uh, water damaged Sam Egan 68 board. We've uh, we finished our restoration. It's looking good. The uh, the paint job has um, come out come up quite nicely. Uh, it's a little bit rough, but um, that's what you expect when you do a, a large repair. Uh, we've put the fins on, and uh, she's uh, she's ready to go. Lovely board.